Hello, this is James Hickey, SD Entrepreneur here in beautiful San Diego, California. And my question to you today is, are you ready to become a local business influencer in your community? So let's, uh, let's just get started. Let's go over uh, who I am, who's James Hickey. Uh, a lot of you know me already. You've got my emails or you could be watching this off of YouTube or um, off my blog or a lot of different places. So let me just give you a quick lowdown of uh, who I am and uh, what I've been doing for years and how I've also become a, a top business influencer. I'm a former business owner, was in the gas station auto repair business for 18 years, had uh, five in San Diego and um, one in Lake Tahoe. I uh, bought my first gas station when I was 28. So uh, very young, a budding entrepreneur. And I uh, was in that business for 18 years. I slowly got out in 2007, 2008. But when I, um, but 2001, I started learning marketing, and I started. I met Dan Kennedy, went through some of his courses in person, and learned about sales and copywriting. And then I read the book, um, The E Myth by Michael Gerber, and went through the E Myth Mastery Program. And um, those two, these you know, these two gentlemen changed my my life, my mindset. One is on sales and copy and writing, and the other one was on um, you know how to become an entrepreneur, or that I was an entrepreneur. So I started to embrace my entrepreneurship. I joined a company called ProU and MLSP in, in uh, October 2007. These guys taught me digital marketing, lead generation, social media marketing, video marketing, blogging, um, Google AdWords, all this stuff at a very high level. And I was reselling their courses and their products. And somewhere along the way, being an ex-business owner, a former business owner, I thought, um, let me help uh, my, my girlfriend out. Uh, she's a realtor and ended up making her the top agent in her office. And a few weeks later, two other agents hired me. Then a month later, her, her boss hired me with 60 agents. And they said, can you generate six, you know, like you're doing for the girls, six, yeah, we have 60 agents, lead sales, clients, handle all their marketing. That's when the light bulb went off my head and that I'm gonna take this digital marketing career and, um, and you know, continue to sell these online products, but also, work with business owners and startup companies all over. So uh, I formed uh, JMH Marketing Group in April 2008. And then um, a, little bit, uh, a couple years into that, I was working with a lot of startups, a lot of big companies. And then this company is called uh, Parallel 6 uh, came to my office in March 2010, asked me to, uh, to help manage all of their marketing and train all of their staff on social media and digital marketing. And the way they found me was I came up everywhere in Google searches. They were searching San Diego internet marketers, San Diego digital marketers, San Diego social media marketers, and I came up everywhere. So I was more, you know, it's back in 2010, you know, I followed the instructions of my mentors and coaches and built my online following, my online reputation. So that's how they came across this. So I um, worked with them for three years. Uh, something funny happened along the way, funny but great is that in 2011, I called my coach and mentor and I told him kind of the story that uh, about this company hired me to train them. And he was like, well, why don't you just train a 68 people? Why don't you create a course and train people globally? So that's when I got into internet marketing training and coaching and mentoring. So in 2011, I created the Internet Marketing Training Center. That course was mainly for people who wanted to become a marketing consultant to business owners. That was the main focus of it. Over the last several years, it's kind of it's, that, cor that course is still valid and going strong. Uh, it's also it's kind of morphed into a business marketing course. I've had a lot of business owners go, James, I, I want to learn digital marketing, but I don't want to become a consultant, but can you teach and show me and train me or train my staff? So the course came from there. Uh, and then this year, I've got into some little smaller product creations. I created the local business six pack, the top six things that every business should have. And then this, what I'm creating now is I've created this course called a Local Business Influencer Course. So how to become a local business influencer in your community and why you should and what are the benefits of it. And then frequently down here in San Diego in the gas lamp area, I'm called the mayor of gas lamp. I don't go around, uh, you, know, you know, saying that myself about me. This is what people say about me. You know, I haven't bought the mayor of gas .com yet, although I, I should see if it's available. <laughs> but uh, so many people look to me for, for advice, to influence, or connections. Hey, do you know a good place to eat? Hey, do you know a good realtor? Hey, where can I get my car detailed? 
Um, I, they just come to me for everything. They, they see that I've done and I've, I've been marketing myself as a connector, as a networker. So they see that. So that's hence where the, the name came up. Um, and even, you know, even back in my, uh, my Point Loma days, I was actually uh, pretty well known in that area, but that was more because I, I had the gas stations and that whole community, but I got involved in that community and I was already starting to become a, a top, uh, top influencer back in the, in the 90s and 2000s. I just didn't even know what it was called. Uh, but now I do, and now I'm sharing with you what I know. Currently have over 250,000 social media followers, uh, about uh, 80,000 on Twitter, uh, probably 50 to 70,000 on Facebook, including my pages and groups, and uh, Pinterest and LinkedIn, um, YouTube channel followers, Instagram, it's a combo of everything. And over half a million views on my YouTube channel. So maybe you're watching this from the YouTube channel or from my email I sent out. So uh, a few more pictures of me back in the gas station days with my, um, my guy from Parallel 6, the, the Dave Turner, a uh, little cover that we made, a little fun cover. And my mentor, Jay Kubizak, then me speaking at an event. Down the bottom is me and MC Hammer, Gravity Summit, and then me and Les Brown. So just a little bit about me. Now let's kind of talk about this course and what I'm going to give you today. So it's uh, 28 recorded training modules. Each one's going to be 12 to 15 minutes long. There's going to be a PDF that goes along with it. So if you need to, uh, you know, refer back to things uh, uh, that I cover in this, so there'll be bullet points. But if you, you're going to want to have a recording and listen to the recordings of this, to so go in a lot of detail on these 28 modules. So today we're just going to cover three of the 28, and I want to. Get uh, you know, get you some knowledge in here. Give some, give something away. Give you a taste of what this course is going to look like and and how it's going to help you. So let's get right into it. The uh, first one is to become a reviewer. Um, our world is becoming huge with uh, people, you know, reviews. Whether it's Yelp or Google or um, uh, Facebook's got reviews. Um, Lyft and Uber has reviews. And I don't know if you know that Uber actually rates you now. So we've always been rating businesses, and now we're rating drivers, and now drivers are rating us. So um, eventually, we are going to have our own ratings. Right now, we have our social ratings. Some people judge people. Some people judge me by the number of social media followers they have, or their accomplishments, or their video channel. Or so we're already in a rating stage. So. You want to take advantage and become a, become a reviewer. So the big one is Elite Yelp. Um, I'm I'm actually very close to becoming an Elite Yelper myself. I should be by the end of the year. That's based on the number of reviews you do. And I um and I do it for a lot of my businesses. I've worked with so many businesses, so I kind of got started just doing it for my clients. But now I've been doing it more and more. And I'll explain the method of my madness here in, in a little bit. Uh, and I know a lot of people don't like Yelp because of the way they, you know, they, uh, you know, a couple of bad reviews can like really hurt a business, but it's not going anywhere. So let's find a way to embrace it and market it. So if you're going to be a top influencer in your community, you want to look into becoming an elite, elite Yelper because this is going to give you some really good access to uh, in the bar, restaurant industry. When someone knows that you're an elite Yelper and you frequent a place, they're, you're, you want to get good customer service. They know they better give you customer, good customer service because they're going to go, oh my God, that's that James Hickey guy. He's an elite Yelper. You know, go, you know, wait on him, buy him a drink. <laughs> so, uh, second one is local business guide. This thing has just came out this year or the end of last year, and it's similar to Elite Yelp, but you can come a local business guide and contributor. So you create a profile, and on this profile you can do a lot of things. You can when you when you find a business, uh, I don't know if you ever searched a business right now on Google. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm an Android guy, so I don't know if it does it on Apple. But a, a message will pop up and it go, "Do you know more about this place?" And then I start answering questions. You know, does it have um, handy? Does it have unisex bathrooms? Does it have handicapped parking? Does it serve happy hour? Does it have high chairs? It goes through, and you have to answer a lot of these questions. So I just started answering all of them. Like saying, you know, my scores started going on my level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. I just keep moving up the ranks. And um, so you contribute to, to the internet and to actually contribute to Google's results. And then the one other part of that is Google reviews. 
and you want to, um, that's second right after Yelp. Uh, you want to get as many reviews for your business. You could be a uh, attorney, doctor, chiropractor, dentist, Pilates instructor, whatever. Anybody that's listening to this, this course is for you if you want to become a top influencer in your business. You want people to know who you are everywhere you go because that's, then, then they're going to, you'll, you'll, the people start referring business to you just because of your reputation. So you're creating your online reputation, your online brand. So Google reviews is huge and it's also part of Google Local Business Guide. And if you want to rank your map on the first page of Google, getting reviews is one of the top strategies to get that. But this isn't a Google course. This is a top influencer course. Yeah, get that later. Facebook reviews. Uh, Facebook's uh, number three on, 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 on the hit list here. There's a lot of people that um, review on Facebook. And I've noticed uh, I've got a pop-up lately. After I check into a place, the next day it will say, oh, you were at Cold Bears and Cheeseburgers last night. Do you want to leave a review? Um, Yelp can't do that. Google can't do that. Um, I mean, they can in a way, but nothing like Facebook. Facebook has all your information. So when you check in someplace, now they're asking for reviews. So Facebook reviews are great. And then part become a top influencer. Uh, when I get, uh, I'm not covering the Facebook module today. That's part of the 28. Is um, when you start writing reviews on Facebook, and the business owners and the GMs and managers are are monitoring them, they see the reviews, they see your face, and they see you're a reviewer. So they know you're reviewing on Facebook, they know you're reviewing on Google, they know you're an elite Yelp viewer, whether, and this, like I said, isn't just bars and restaurants, this could be any type, any type of in service industry that is that can take reviews. You want people to know who you are and that you are a top reviewer and a top contributor in your community. And then make sure to inform your management of upcoming reviews. So even on all of these, and I do this consistently, when I'm somewhere and I have a, you know, I always try to write good Yelp reviews. I've, I've written one or two bad ones, but uh, I try to, <coughs> I want to just talk to the manager and share my experience, then throw them under a bus. But the, um, uh, but yeah, I, I usually will say something to the manager and just go, hey, thanks a lot. It was awesome. You know, you know, I'm gonna. Sh you guys Yelp review, is that okay? And I might even you know mention the bartender or the server or whoever helped me, or even mention them. You know, maybe the manager or their owner sees that they're you know they have good management thing. So I was informed. I'm not gonna make a huge deal out of it, but make a make an effort to let someone know that you are writing a review and maybe tell them what platform. Maybe don't tell them what the review is, let them read it themselves. But that you just want them to know that you're an influencer and you're a con contributor in your area. All right, on to my favorite one. This is one of my top ones. I almost did. Uh, I almost did not include this in the 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 three free giveaway thing here, but I figured I'd throw out one of the big ones. Um, networking events. I've been a huge networking guy, uh, even back when I was. I said I was in the uh, Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. I was in the Peninsula Breakfast Club. I was in the Tip Group. All my gas station auto repair days. So I did that for so many years. And then 10 years ago, 2007, I became internet digital marketing guy. I needed to go out and meet new people. So I started going to all the networking groups, networking, networking, networking. And I've really established a system and a method and strategies and uh, on how to, uh, you know, where to go and what to say and how to do. Uh, right now, I'm just going to cover where to go. But what to say and how to do is in a, a future module as well. So, um, oops. I, Oops, am I going backwards? Sorry, hit the wrong key. All right, uh, meetups. Meetup groups. Meetups have been around for a while. I've attended a lot of meetups, and uh, when you uh, and you can find niche specific. So when you're looking at meetup groups, you want to think about a meetup group that either a is something that you're with like-minded individuals. Like I would go to an internet marketing meetup group, or b you could go to a meetup group where your potential clients would be. So say if you worked in the you were, you did marketing for dentists, you know, show up to a dentist meetup group. <laughs> you know, you're in a marketing person in that group. I mean, not marketing person, but you know, they're around. They're mostly other dentists, or just something like if you are a realtor and you're going to, uh, you want to, um, uh, you know, sell houses to people. Well, create a group about new to San Diego, and guess who's an organizer in the group? Guess who runs the group? So when you run the group, you're looked at upon as a leader, as a top influencer. So 
uh, visit meetup groups, and then eventually create your own meetup group. Business happy hour groups. These are my favorite. I um, And like I said, for a lot of these, I'm going to tell you to attend them first, get a feel for it, and then create your own. Because when you create your own, you're a leader, you're a top influencer. So the business happy hours are great. There's a lot of different ones. I'm going to drop a few names down here in a little bit. And uh, uh, Six Degrees is one of them. Been around for a while. They do other events other than that. Um, network after work. I'm going to talk about them a little bit later as well. So business happy hours are great. You uh, when you get to meet people over a um, you know over a cocktail or maybe over an appetizer. It's a lot more social. You know you can walk across the room and talk to anybody. You have your business cards, have a name badge, and then and, um, and then once you get a feel for it, create your own group, and then invite the industry type of people that you could be your, your clients. Now, guess who they look up to? Guess who's the leader? Guess who's the top influencer? The person who created the group. So create your own business happy hour group. Do it once a month. Uh, once a week is hard. <laughs> Do it once a month. Pick a place. And it's really no expense out of your pocket. You find a bar or restaurant. You go and talk to them. You say, I have 15 to 30 or 50 people that might be bringing here. Um, what's your happy hour deal? Can you extend it? Can you give us happy hour prices? And maybe bring out some finger food or some appetizers, something like that. I mean, they want 25 to 50 people in there that are going to spend money, and that because otherwise you take that business somewhere else. So create a business happy hour group, create it around your niche, and then invite your target market, and then grow your group, and uh, and uh, create your own. Always dress professionally or in a professional manner. I know uh, this is, we're in San Diego, we're very laid back here. Other cities, you know, New York, Chicago, Boston, things like that, London, you're going to want to dress up a little bit more because uh, here you can just come casual to most things. But always make an effort to dress professionally, either nice for men, like nice collar shirt, sport coat, maybe even a suit, depending on the event. And, and women, the same way, nothing too fancy, uh, you know, nightclub -y or party ish. You want to, you know, look smart, look professional. These are people that you're networking with. You know, you're not out dating. You know, this is uh, this is business. And uh, and business casual if the location uh, warrants it, or special events might even warrant dressing down a little bit, or even dressing up a little bit. Um, we have a lot of balls here in San Diego. It could be the the bunny ball or the teddy ball, and you know, you know, you yeah, you wear suits and gowns and dresses, but hey, there's a lot of networking going on at these events. Even that they're even though they're kind of parties and balls and stuff. There's a lot of networking going on, so uh, that's a little more advanced on those, and um, and I have a whole other module on how to um, act and present yourself at these networking events. And then the last one is um, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I've joined uh, the large, the the San Diego one here. I've been joined. I was a member for a few years, and I'm actually thinking of rejoining it again. And they've actually got really better, lower on their prices. They have a one monthly happy hour with two to four, two to three hundred people at different locations all over. They have a lot of um, business groups that they networking groups that they created within them. So uh, that's very good. And then all of the, and then all these smaller communities also have chambers. Like when I was in Point Loma all those years, Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, the Pacific Beach Chamber of Commerce, the uh, you know all these little communities have their own Chamber of Commerce. You know why not join them? You know, maybe, can, and you know, when I was in the, the smaller one, I, w I became a board member. You know, when you're a board member and you're a president of a chamber, people look up to you as a top influencer, as a leader. These are the kind of things that you want to do to get recognized and to have business, you know, attracting you instead of you having to chase down business. All right, page two on networking events. Uh, join the 10 networking, organized networking groups such as LATIP, BNI, or Team Referral Network. I've done these for years. I'm a big homer of, uh, of these groups, especially if you're new and starting out. Uh, one thing that's different in these groups is you have to um, have one from each profession. So you can't, um, you can't you know, have two realtors or two mortgage brokers or two internet guys. So you've got to be, you know, find the right group, find a niche. If you know if if you're in a popular category as realtor and mortgage broker, you might have to start your own group because that's really the only way sometimes to get in those positions. Because once people get in those positions, they never leave. You know why? Because it works and they get tons of business from it. 
And when you have an army of 20 or 40 people in your, in your organized networking group you see for breakfast every day, who do you think you get all the business from those 20 or 40 people or most of it? And each of those 20 people know 20 people. Now your audience is huge. They're referring their friends and family and other acquaintances to you. So um, on the, um, uh, actually on these three modules that, I, that I'm showing you right now, I'm voicing over these. When I get into the actual training one, there will be similar version of this, but I'm probably popping out off to the web, and I'm going to show you the tip, BNI, team referral. I'm going to really um, dig deeper and give you a lot more content in, in the full course of, of 28. Um, you also want to perform just Google search and find other networking groups in the area. Um, Network After Work comes up. I mentioned that before. They are in almost every major city. Most of the ones I see have 150 to 300 people at them. They have color-coded name badges, very well organized. Also, you know, usually includes one free drink and heavy appetizers. One free drink, heavy appetizers. They got this down pat. So check out Network After Work. Find one in your area. Attend the group. Bring a bunch of business cards. Have a strategy in place. Um, you know, some of these you. You know, I mean, if you really want to get down, and you could create your own networking group. You know, you don't need the tip or BNI or team referral or network after work. You really want to be a huge top influencer, create your own networking group and, and run it that way. Guess who's the president of it? Guess who's the owner of it? And that's extra work that could almost be a part-time job. But um, like network after work, they make bank. You got 200 people paying 20 bucks to show up. It's $4,000. And they do it in, you know, in 15, 30, 40 different states. They have a good business model. So check out Network After Work. Toastmasters is another one. It's out there, usually out of philanthropy. Oop, kind of butchered that a little bit. And, um, but those are good groups, too. You stick around those in a while. Um, and check out Toastmasters as well. Find a local group. Um, there's just so much to do on networking. So I think that's the last one on the networking part um, until I get to the more advanced on, in the actual course. All right, this next one, frequent locations. I love this one. Um, loyal customers are always being taken care of. I live in the downtown gas lamp area of San Diego, uh, gas lamp mayor, I guess. <laughs> but um, what you want to do is you want to set up a routine and go to your top six to ten places. <clears throat> I, I have over ten, but um, even if that's a lot for you, maybe a, a minimum four, and just have places you frequent. And it doesn't have to be a bar every time. You could have one coffee shop you go to all the time. You could have one um, bar you go to all the time. You have one restaurant you go to all the time. And then maybe one, um, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to think, maybe some uh, local festival or, or just something that you frequent on a regular basis. You want to, you, you can definitely explore other coffee shops and other bars and restaurants, but lock down, you know, uh, at least four or four to six places. And when you do that, you want, always want to introduce yourself to the business owners or managers. Find out who's running the place. Find out who they are. If you're going there often enough, frequently, either if it's once a week or once a month, it's depending on how often you, you go out, find out who runs the place, who owns it, who manages it. Introduce yourself. Shake hands. Talk to them. Uh, tell them a story. Tell them about you. Tell them about your business. Tell them how you got into it. And the reason why is because these owners and managers know you are a loyal customer. They are going to treat you with a lot more respect than the average person that comes in that doesn't know them. So not only will the owner or the manager know who you are, all the staff will know who you are. And when you show frequent enough and they know that you're a dentist, you're a mortgage broker, realtor, what do you think is going to happen when somewhere along those lines these people go, maybe a new employee starts there and they go, do you guys know a realtor? Yeah. I know this realtor, you know, James Hickey comes in all the time. He's always in here, spend the money, look for him, tall ball guy. You know, you, you've got to um, think, think this way, think outside of the box. Talk to business owners, talk to managers, tell them a story about you and your business. Owners and staff will become your biggest cheerleaders. You've got to build a reputation with them, um, build it out. Like I said, mine's vast. I, I, it's way over 10 places. I, I, I don't even count now. but. Uh, and, but I do live downtown, so it's very easy for me to just walk everywhere, so it's easier than most. But even if not, you don't have to do it at a high level as me. Uh, just start out at three or four places and build your reputation. They'll become your biggest cheerleaders, they'll become your, your biggest fans, 
and they'll refer business to you. So uh, that's the end of the first three. There's 25 more like these with a lot more information, a lot more content, and a lot more visual. I'm going to do you know screen captures and actually go on the web and show you a lot of these things firsthand. Um, but there's going to be 28 of them. Um, and if you'd like access to the, my training center, Internet Marketing Training Center, with the local business influencer course, this 28 module course, I'm going to have a PDF pretty much of all these PowerPoints. Um, I'm going to have them as a PDF uh, in a way. Uh, so each one, each of these 12 modules will have a PDF accompanying it with a lot of these bullet points on there. So you don't have to hear the whole storytelling behind it. You can scroll through on the bullet points. And then I'm going to invite you to a private Slack group. Slack group is like a Facebook group on steroids. And each one of these 28 topics, so there's a little bit of overlap, I'm going to have a, a, a group conversation page for each one of those. So if someone jumps in and has a question about this, that, or the other, different strategies, we can all start and talk and interact. And then you're going to be interacting and communicating with other um, uh, uh, top influencers and business owners. So what a great deal is that? So private Slack group. It's going to be this. It's going to cost $197. You're going to have access to it for one year. It's going to be $197. Now, you may think that's a lot of money, or some do, or some don't, depending on the value that you get. I guarantee you, there is going to be so much value in this course. If you've got any bit of value out of these three, imagine these three with more information. Imagine another 25 like that. And the a membership 197. You probably, most businesses, you need one and two new ideas or clients that come from these strategies as branding you as a top influencer. And this course will easily pay for itself tenfold, twentyfold. But, <clears throat> but wait, what does the course cost right now? Because it hasn't launched yet, it's $47. So what I'm going to do between now and the actual launch date, which is September 29th, you have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you have three days. And uh, during these three days, you can get it for $47. And uh, oh, I did forget one more thing. I should add that to the slide. You will get one 30-minute phone call with me. And I really would like to do that call with you after you've watched all 28 modules. And then let's really talk and maybe hone down on how uh, I can fast track and give you some advice to become a, a top influencer. So for right now, today's Tuesday. It's, this video is going out today. Um, it's the uh, on my calendar, the 27th, I think. Um, yeah, 27, 28, 29, 26, 27, 29. Yeah, it's going to uh, pre-launch price. So uh, on Friday, when it goes live, it goes to 197. So I really uh, suggest if you're interested in this, this is you know this is lunch and a couple drinks, $47. You you won't get access to the course until Friday, but you're getting in on the pre-launch price. This is for the early adopters, the people who are ready, are interested, and get started. And it and expires at 9:28:17 at midnight. So um, I want to thank you for your time. Um, you can contact me by going to jmhinternetmarketing.com, and there's going to be a link on this video. Uh, it's going on YouTube and on my other channels, but there's going to go to internetmarketingtrainingcenter.com forward slash products. And on that page, you will see a, a, a button for the $47 pre-sale price for this course. And just knowing that I'm going to change that price to $197 on, um, on Friday. So I'm not doing any big fancy landing pages and sales funnels on this. This is kind of you know grassroots. Let's just get this done. Let's get you into this course. Let's help you become a top influencer in your community. If you want to email me with any questions about it, go to jmhmarketinggroup at gmail.com and then facebook.com forward slash James Hickey, ST Entrepreneur. I've got two personal Facebook pages, James Hickey and Jim Hickey, but I've been at 5,000 on both of those since 2009. So uh, I'm just going to have to ask you to uh, connect with me on my Facebook page for now or try to slip into uh, one of my pages when, I, when a few people fall off. So look for the link on here. If you don't see it for some reason, just go to jmhinternetmarketing.com and there'll be a products tab right at the top of the page. Just click on products and you'll see my, all my products listed there. And the top influencer business course is there right now for $47.
and that's going up on uh, the 29th to 197. Thanks again for your time, and I look forward to helping you become a top business influencer in your community. Thanks again. Bye.